these are all long bone long long bone and these are these are the all different types of bone here this is a long bone in the long bone you see in the lower part this is bone marrow okay in a long bone when we cut it you can see here this is the bone marrow the entire part is the bone marrow and confuse it with the spongy bone only here in the in this area you can see the spongy part so this part only the spongy bone and entire part is the bone marrow okay when you say about the histology of the compact bone only in this area don't confuse this one bone marrow bone marrow as a Hebersen system okay so the only in this area the compact part only here to here see only in this part to this part these are the compact bone in this part to this part these are the compact bone if we cut in this area only you can see you can see the Hebersen system Hockman's canal Hebersen canal everything only in this area not in this area the Hebersen canal is orientation is like this part this way it means going this way orientation long bone orientation is like this way this will this will be the Hebersen canal again one is the Hockman's canal if Hockman's canal is orientation is like this way that means it entering this way 90 degree that means when blood is coming to supply the bone that means it first goes through this Hockman's canal then from this layer by layer they will go orientation will like this way this way this will be your Haversian canal okay so we have got the concept of Hockman's canal and Haversian canal Hockman's canals which one is transversely oriented and Haversian canal that one is longitudinally oriented okay now if the Haversian canal is the central canal to hear what happened it contains surrounding some lamellae lamellae means layer of the connective tissue and these are actually bone you know we know that bone is the connective tissue again connective tissue is made up of three things cells ground substance and fibers so cells are basically here four types osteogenic cells osteoblast cells osteocyte cells and osteoclast cells the fibers are basically type 1 collagen fibers and which are synthesized by osteoblast cells mainly and lesser extent type 5 also type 5 collagen also found in bone bone matrix uh, flexibility of the bones yes the flexibility of the bones depends upon the presence of the collagen fibers and is also responsible for its tensile strength because of the presence of the fibers after fibers as like other connective tissue ground substance is the contents so ground substance is consists of mainly small amount of amorphous ground substance but rich in proteoglycans so again here consists of some inorganic component also is in bone matrix and which consists of mineral salts also the principal constituent of inorganic matrix is crystals of calcium phosphate also here contains some carbonate calcium chloride, citrate, magnesium and sodium also because of the presence of the crystal of the minerals the hardness of bone occurs so the hardness of bone is due to the crystallized inorganic mineral salts which are responsible for compressive strength of the bone yes it's related to the compressive strength of the bone before mineralization the ground matrix is termed as osteoid osteoid then confused with the osteon osteon means haversian system but osteoid is the stage before mineralization of the bone matrix so in the pictures you have seen 
the Habersian system and this is also known as the osteon. Yes, in the osteon is consist of Habersian canal. You have seen in the pictures that that is the central canal. Again, it's surrounding some lamellae, and again, some inside the lamellae you will get some osteocyte cells, which are black black in colors, and these are lies within the lacuni. Lacuni means space. So inside the space. Actually, during the development of the bone, there is uh, within the space within the lacuni, there are the osteocyte cells. So these osteocyte cells, these are looking black black in colors, which are around as along with the lamellae. So you have got the concept of the Habersian system, which consists of Habersian canal inside and surrounding it some lamellae. Again, in the lamellae, there is the osteocyte cells, black black in colors which lies in the lacuni and outside the lamellae the, the pinkest in color here this one is the semantic line this one is actually margin of a Habersian system so in this picture you can see the one is towards the periosteum one is towards the endosteum periosteum is the outer covering of the bone and endosteum is towards lies to the bone marrow, bone marrow. So bone marrow which lies in the lower part in this picture and periosteum that lies in the upper side of the pictures. So here different types of lamellae you can see that along the periosteum there is some again one type of lamellae and this is known as the external circumferential lamellae. Again towards the endosteum these are internal circumferential lamellae. So here lots of osteon or Habersian system you have seen. In Habersian system, this lamellae will be known as the Habersian system of lamellae. And which is covered by, which is surrounding the line is known as the cement line. Already I have mentioned. And in between the, in between the Habersian system, you can see some again some lamella present and these are known as interstitial lamellae so three types of lamellae we can see in this picture one is the circumferential lamellae interstitial lamellae and lamellae of habersian system now in the habersian system you can see the black black the osteocytes that lies between the lamellae so there lies inside the lacuna. Lacuna means space. So now about these things. In the picture A, you can see the pink pink color osteocyte lies between the lamellae. And they have some processes. You know, these are some, if these are osteocytes, they have some processes. And these are pink in color. In the picture B, you can see. So they are also lies inside the lamellae they have some again space where the process are process goes through it and this space are known as canaliculi that means canaliculi are the space where the process of osteocyte lies so what is the function of the process actually the process connected with the nearby process of another cells osteocytes so they will connect it with each other to the nearby cells through it it will access the nutrition oxygen like this way all these things because bone is hard structures so from the Habersian system through which the arterial supplies the nutrition all these things may not go to the away part from the Habersian canal part so from this part they will be accents from to the different parts through this canaliculi of the through the process of the osteocyte cells to the different parts of the cells and ultimately get, uh, they go the nutrition to the different parts of the bone this is another three-dimensional picture where you can compare with the oldest oldest parts whatever I have already told you. 
and this is the ultimate pixels that what you can see under microscope where you can see the different parts whatever i have explained in this my lectures in this my small videos so thank you so much for your watching this my video thank you